Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Sniffbot here. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day, and welcome to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode series. So, in the last video, we made this wonderful, uh, like, exhibit house with a bunch of tropical, like, tropical and aquatic, like, reptiles, insects, amphibians, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. You guys seem to like it as well. Anyways, we're back today with our next video. So, this is also our first video after the 1.11 update and the Twilight Pack DLC. So I bought the DLC. And this video was actually suggested once again by the legend Superbrand1234, who basically suggested that next to our little platypus enclosure over here, we make like a common wombat enclosure, as well as like an Australian themed food court. And then we just put some Australian plants and decorations around here just to make it look a bit nicer. So yeah, we're going to be doing that today. Shout out to him for that idea. And, I mean, let's just get straight into it, shall we? The first new thing I want to do with the 1.11 update is A, I've added more functionality to exhibits, so like, prop, like upgraded cameras. You can make your own custom 2D backgrounds in the exhibits. Hold on a second, I've got Sorry, I had to mute so I could cough. Anyways, another thing they've done is exhibit management so if you want like I don't know a certain amount of an animal in an exhibit then you can so say I want I don't know three males and three females and then if I want to like so that's so I'll get a maximum of three of each gender in my exhibits and then any spare ones we can either sell for cash, store in the trade center, or release into the wild. So for the males, I'm going to sell them for cash, and we're going to prioritize the lowest appeal of each animal for both. And then we're also going to release some to the wild for the females, so then we can get a nice balance of cash and conservation credits. And basically, I'm going to be just doing that, really. So. Yeah, there we go. Is that hit character Ignacio Varga from Better Call Saul as a Titan Beetle in my Planet Zoo exhibit? I think it is. Holy crap. Holy crap. Is that Ignacio Nacho Varga from the hit TV show Better Call Saul once again in my zoo, but this time as a Lemon's Poison Frog? I think it is. Oh my god. Is that hit cartel leader from the hit TV show Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, Juan Bolsa? in my zoo as a Mexican red knee tarantula? I think it is. Holy crap. Is that Rhea Seahorn? A uh, person who played Kim Wexler in hit TV show Better Call Saul in my zoo as an American bullfrog? I think it is. Holy crap. So, I've just finished with sorting all these out. So, all of them have a max male of two or three. So, yeah, hold on, I have and then, yeah, we see. So all males are being sold for cash, all females will be released into the wild. Um, the priority, we have the lowest appeal for each of them. Oh shit, we just have baby tape here, okay. Alright, I'll get on to that in a second. Let me just quickly make sure all of these are turned on here. Alright, anyways, so yeah, that's that done. I now want to see the baby tape here, so let me just try and look for it. Oh, that's a baby cap. Two baby cappies. Alright, so, yeah, the tape here is obviously, it's going to be somewhere. That's our baby antique, by the way. Um, we had a baby antique to off camera. Uh, so, I keep looking, that's the capuchin, you know what, so, I'm just, I might as well just click on that fucking habitat screen, it'll make it a lot easier, there we go, jeez Christ, he's huge, anyway, yeah, this is our taper, our uh, baby bed taper, and we've also been told our platypus is having offspring. And our titan beetle has also had offspring. 
so that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm about to try and find a design for the Wombat Habitat, and then I'll get back to you when I have one. I have 15 seconds to buy Gustavo Fring, the Amazonian giant centipede from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Thank you. Couldn't turn down the offer of buying Gus Fring, so I've, I've just put down an exhibit for him and his new wife, Irene. Oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. Alright, so... There's that done, and then I should get to animals. There we go. We now have Gus Fring and Max in our giant centipede exhibit. So if I should put the once again, they have to be exceptions. So can appeal. Wild, feel, lowest first. There we go. Right, so yeah, we got Gus Fring in here now. Hello! Right, so now I'm actually going to move on to the Wombat enclosure, and I'll be back in a second once I've got the shape done. We just had a baby platypus. Let's go. He's gonna have to be released in a couple years, probably, because he's gonna turn into an adult and then they're gonna start fighting. So yeah. Alright, so. I've got the shape of the enclosure done. Again, it's overly huge, like I do every single time. Uh, they only really need about 290 meters squared, but I've given them 1,284 square meters. But at least they have a lot of space, I guess. So, I mean, before I actually go on to building the barriers and decorating the inside, moving them in, I want to try and get the food court and the Australia type of plants put in. So, I'm gonna do that now, and I'll be back once I've got a basic shape for it, and also I might put in some other plants for you guys. Okay, so we've also just had some more baby capybaras. So, we've got quite a lot of animals in here now. So, if I just look at this. We have 11 capybaras, and in terms of space, they're still all doing really well. So, that's always a good thing. However, I am going to have to put contraceptives on most of these capybaras. Just to make sure there's no inbreeding going on. So, just do that. And yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back once I actually figure out how to do it, because I'm a dumbass. So, yeah. Here we have our dining area, just from making it. So I've used the preset large toilets, and I have also used the preset nature scene. Um, I've basically put ten tables around here, quite a few bins, um, one shield frites or whatever it's called, and pizza pen. I've got two drink shops here, couple benches, a few bins, and I made my own custom nature scene, just a bunch of the Australian plants with the cassowary in the middle. So. That's that pretty much done. So the main thing I'm going to get onto now is the enclosure. So I'll make a start on the walls and I'll show you how it's going. So as you can see so far, I just made I just made this basic fence and just put it around the, ha the habitat. And I also just wanted to say about going forward with these videos, I'm gonna get rid of the light goal because I I'm personally just really enjoying this series and I really want it to continue. Um, so to get into that point where kind of getting less views, people start to stop watching. So yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of the light bulb. Just do weekly videos on this until we're out with like space in the zoo. Then I'll move on to something else. So yeah, um, I just gotta finish getting this all the way around the habitat, and then once I've done that, I will get back to you, and we can start decorating with plants. And Getting the one that's in, so yeah. No, no, no. Guys, Nacho Vaga from hit TV show Better Call Souls died. Ignacio's dead. I cry. So, I've got the enclosure finished, obviously. I need to wait until the one that's actually moved in before I deal with the terrain. But yeah, 
like all the plants by Redman. Kind of made a little shelter in the tree. And yeah, I, th I think it looks pretty good. I like I like the way I've made the fence again, better than the warthog one. And I think this one looks quite cool. Additionally, um, we now have once once these guys decide to get bigger, we have a full family of adult capybaras. So there's a cool one now. But yeah, as you can see, they're all starting to mature. Look at the animals. I mean, we obviously still have a few babies, but like, so it's not a full adult family. That was a mistake for me, but yeah, we've had a batch of some of the capybaras mature. That's always good. I just gotta make sure we still, have, yeah, we still have plenty of space. But anyways, yeah. Now that I'm done with this enclosure, I have bought two common wombats, so. We're gonna get these guys sent into the zoo. I might as well make a little work for them. And I'm also not gonna invite to maximum fight. Anyways, yeah, gonna make a little work for them, put in some education stuff and donation boxes, and then we'll be done. So, here comes the second wombat. We got the first one in here, and Jesus Christ, I didn't realize how fast they were. They are speedy as hell. If you can hear Xbox messages, don't worry about it. I'm just getting messages from my mates, because. I mean, I'm in a party with them now, I just have to mute to do this recording. But yeah, we've got our wombats here. Speedy little guys. They are obviously really cute as well. Look at them. Anyways, yeah, I've made them a work zone. I've also made some tweaks to the work zones as well, so like... I just got it for the continent as a whole, just not for every two habitat. So, yeah, we've got all of that. And we also finished research on quite a lot of the exhibit animals, or at least we're making really good progress on them. So once the next one's done, I'm going to start research on the wombat. And other than that, I think that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. Um, if you like, like and subscribe. Obviously, like I said earlier, there's not going to be a like off this video, but if you enjoyed, then you can still like. I don't, I don't mind. Um, comment what animal you want to see next. It can be literally any any animal in the game. I don't mind what you pick. And um yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Okay, I pull up, hop out at the